Hi, this is Sue Polinski from Tech Triad. Today we're going to work with images. These are images that are already on my website. We'll be working with images that are not yet uploaded to your website in the next screencast, but this is how we use, how we generally use images. This website has space for pictures. It has space for pictures in a variety of places. We've put in some black and white pictures to show where they should go. So I'm going to edit my page and I'm going to replace the pictures. This big dark colored box um, that right here 360 by 330 says here's how big your image should be. So I'm going to take that image and click on it once and I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to go image from my website. I'm going to look in my images folder and I'm going to find my big green box and I tend to number the size of my picture. It's not fancy, it's just a big green box. I pick OK. And my big green box has replaced the picture that used to be the black and white picture. Now I also have some 60 by 60 pictures and some 174s by 100. Very simply, click on the picture, press delete on your keyboard. You can also right click it and pick edit image. You can go to the link properties. You can do all kinds of things, but what I'm just going to do is delete it. And I'm going to go to image from the website and you'll notice that I'm in the images folder because the lot that's the last place I was. Now this is a heart I tend to organize, so I put my images into a horizontal folder and I have several not very exciting pictures that can go in each of those places. So if I decide that I want the picture of the baby to go in the first box and you can see the little preview, I click OK and there's my baby. I can go over here to the second box, delete that picture, image from my website, and I'm still in the horizontal folder. I could go up to the images folder to find another one, but my pictures are in the horizontal folder and I'm going to put my flag picture in second. Click OK, there's my flag picture. I could do this all day long. For 60 by 60 pictures, I can take one, I can delete it. Whoops, not a good one to delete because by deleting it, it actually removed the uh, spacing and alignment and bordering. So we need to learn how to do that. So I'm going to delete this picture. Pardon the phone ringing. I'm going to insert an image from my website. I'm going to go up to my social folder, which has 60 by 60 images. I'm going to put in Facebook. And the only problem with Facebook is that it's not aligned properly. So I want to align it to the left. And now it looks like the other pictures. I'm going to do that again. We have only about a minute left in this screencast. Delete the picture image from my website. Make sure I'm in the right folder and these are my 60 by 60 ones. There's my Twitter icon. Put it in there. It's not aligned correctly. So I right click it. I pick a line and I pick left and that enables the text to wrap correctly the way I want it for this picture. That's how you put in pictures from your website if you've already created them, and this is my folder of already created images for this website. I made my images first, I uploaded them first, and then I could use them. On the next screencast, we're going to learn how to get a picture from my computer onto the page and onto the website. So for now, I'm simply going to publish the page, and then I'll be done, and I'll see you at the next screencast.